Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Jacked out here. Today I'm bringing you another tutorial and before I start anything, right here is my vlogging camera. I only got it today. That's why there haven't been vlogs lately and I really apologize for that because all of you guys have been requesting more vlogs. But I have my vlogging camera right here. It's super dope and there's going to be plenty of vlogs coming out. And if I don't vlog with this next week, even if I do use my 60D next week because I've been injured and stuff so I've only been able to like film stuff at home. Anyway, backside lip slide tutorials, let's get into it. Alright, so before you dive in to try and backside lip slides, you want to find a rail that is most suitable for you. You want to make sure it's waxed up enough. You want to make sure it's more on the slipperier side than the stickier side. I'd much rather slip out in a rail than like stick and fall over my bars. So the rail that you want to learn backside lip slides on, you want to make sure that you can hop over the rail. That's really, really important because a backside lip slide is when you approach the rail on your backside, so you have to be really, really comfortable with backside board slides and frontside board slides can help a lot. You want to roll up to the rail pretty much parallel, in line parallel with the rail on maybe like a tiny weeny bit of an angle. Have your heels facing the rail and a backside lip slide is when you hop up, you turn 90 degrees backside, land on top of the rail. So technically you're grinding backwards, but you want to keep your shoulders straight. So it feels like you're grinding forward. Your heels are guiding you in the direction of travel. Come off to the end of the rail land and roll away. Before you want to try this trick on a rail, you might want to take it to gutter. You just want to practice hopping into the backside lip slide and you just want to do that over and over until you land in the back lip on the gutter feeling centered above your scooter. And you want to try and balance on the gutter for as long as you can. That's going to give you a lot of experience with just hopping into the back lip and getting the feel of what it's like to spin that backside 90 degrees and land on top of something. Another way to practice is if you've got a portable rail like mine, it might also be easier to bring it onto the grass and practice hopping into the back lip from there. If you don't have a portable rail, just ignore this part, but if you do, I definitely take it to the grass. Be stationary in the grass and just hop into a back lip. So one really important thing to know when you do a lip slide is keeping your shoulders straight. So when you hop up and spin that 90 degrees, instead of turning your shoulders like that, you only want to turn the bottom half of your body so you're actually like that on top of the rail. You kind of want to stick the back end of your deck out, keeping your shoulders straight ahead, keeping your face and your shoulders guiding you in the direction of grind. So instead of this, you want to do this. And that way you're gonna stop continuously spinning backwards on the rail. If you turn your shoulders as well, you're kind of giving yourself momentum to keep spinning on the rail and it's gonna be really, really hard to come out straight ahead. Trust me, learning this now will help you in the long run. Now to one of the key tips, and that is keeping your body weight centered above the scooter and keeping your scooter centered above the rail. So basically what I'm saying here is, you want your deck to be landing basically right in the middle of the rail. So instead of landing like this, or like this, as you can see, that's what will happen if you land too close to the head tube of your deck. You want to be landing more like this. And notice how I balance so much longer when the rail was in the middle of my deck. And that's because your body weight and your scooter is going to be centered more evenly above the rail. Therefore, it's going to be a lot easier to balance. All right, now here are some tips for when you're actually up on the rail and grinding along. This is kind of hard to explain, but I'll do my best. So when you hop up onto the rail, you want to do that full 90 degree turn and just twist the lower half of your body, all right? Instead of spinning like that and spinning your whole body 90 degrees, you only want to spin like your hips down like this. And notice that my shoulders are still facing straight ahead. So when you actually go for the backside lip slide for your first time, you want to try and grind at least the length of your deck. So this is 21 inches long, so here's the end of the rail. And I'm gonna try and grind that long. What you wanna do is roll up to the rail parallel, maybe on like a tiny weeny bit of an angle. It's your backside, so you wanna make sure your heels are facing the rail. Have your feet spread apart a little bit more than usual to stay centered above the scooter, so your scooter centered above the rail. You wanna hop, you wanna turn 90 degrees. Now when I say that, remember, you only wanna turn the bottom half of your body, so you kinda of wanna twist your legs, let them do the spinning, make sure you keep your shoulders straight ahead and you want to be grinding along. Remember, you kind of want to stick the back end of your deck out. So now all you want to do at the end is instead of turning backside 90 degrees for the lower half of your body, you just want to reverse that. Turn back the other way, brace for impact, land and roll away. If this 
this tutorial did happen to help you or you enjoyed it in any other way, let me know by subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, comment down below if you're still having trouble and I'll get back to you ASAP. Remember to follow me on Instagram at Jack Doubt. I post a bunch of writing content on there and you can also have an input in what videos I do in the future on my YouTube channel and an input in what tricks I do for future tutorials. Monday, new week, plenty of vlogs, get keen guys.